All right, got a black uh, widow, a little bell challenge log here. Um, yeah, little bell makes uh, when they're in this black bag very difficult locks. I have been playing with this for a little while, so I'm starting to work it out. Um, but yeah, difficult. So first off, um, definitely the back two pins, very serrated. I think they need to be dealt with first. Into a false set. That's fantastic. Um, that I think means the back ones are done. So there's a bit of action off one, which um, I've gotten before, but not in that order. That's open. Wow, that made that look really easy, and I assure you, it was not that easy. All right. Whew. Yeah, this uh, probably spent, I don't know, an hour. I have been sick, um, so that's definitely contributing to slowness, but anyway. Um, let's see what this key looks like. No. Let's see if I can just pull it off with pliers. We've got a little bit of movement on it. Ooh, there we go. Um, sometimes they're designed to come off, sometimes you gotta unwrap it. Mm, I might. Got some nice 3D printed ones someone made. Um, I might upgrade it with one of those. Like this. That work? Anyway, there's the key. Oh, it doesn't fit. Oh, I had this plenty. Anyway, we'll use the tape then. All right, so let's um, get that thing. Screwdriver for the back. Um, I don't remember what I introduced in the start of this. This is Albert LaBelle's 144th lock. Man is a machine. Produced so, so many locks, so many fantastic ones. Uh, the ones in the black bag are always a bit extra difficult. Um, we need a shim. Probably, yep, just a shim. Always a good idea to shim a lock, especially when you don't know what's in it. Um, as should be the case with every challenge lock. Uh, and let's slide that on through. All right. So, first off, let's see, we've got, uh, looks like an undercut on one. That's what I Undercut on one, nothing on two, three, or four, and then very serrated on five and six. Definitely felt that. They were so clicky and poppy. All right, what do we got? One standard key pin, two. Um, interesting one there. Some sort of overset traps with some serrations on them. Another one sort of similar but longer. Uh, so, all except one have got these really nice um, serrations on them. It's a little like a torpedo head. Oh, let's see what we've got in the way of drivers. Let's shim out of the way. Pin one. Oop. Looks like a pin and pin. Explains why that was being a bit funny. Alright, so it's a 
side, it looks like that. And there's a, looks like a faster wafer there, so the spring doesn't get mangled. And spring. Into. Very nice. Uh, like inverted T pin serrated thing. Just do a close up of these in a minute. Another one the same. Four is bog standard. Makes sense. Designed to get in the way and overset, which I'm sure I did many whoop, times on previous attempts. Five is just mega serrated. Spring. Let's get the other one from the other end. And it's also super serrated. Yep, that's a threaded Bible in there too, which definitely will not have been helping. Uh, five, four, yeah, five and six. The other chambers look undamaged. Maybe you can. Yeah, there you go. You can see the threading on that back one there at least. You can just see the other one. Either way. The bell number 144. What's it called? Black Widow. Some very nice ink pins, um, as I would expect from Albert the Bell, especially in a black bag. He does know what he's doing. Made some fantastic logs. So there's that nice pin and pin. That undercut. If it had a really sharper, it's a bit of a rounded undercut, would be my only criticism of this. If that was a little bit sharper, this probably would have got stuck a bit harder and been a pain to get out of. As it was, it wasn't too bad. So I guess what we did there is we set this one, this one, and this one. Hit that deep pulse set. Had to get this one. And then these, you kind of have to like, you'll start there. So serration up, up, up. As you're like losing your false set and then snap over the edge. Clever. I kind of like that as a pin design. A bit unusual. All right. There we go. All done.